In this video, I'll show you how to create a rapid shader effect in Premiere Pro. Begin by adding all of the clips you want to use inside of a folder, then drag that folder onto the timeline. To remove the audios, drag and select them while holding down the Alt key and press delete. Now we need to set the length of all of the clips to 20 frames. To do that, we'll first select all of them, then right click, go to speed slash duration. Make sure this option is unlinked then click on duration and type 20. And make sure you check ripple edit. This will automatically move the clips to the left and remove the space between them. Then click okay. Now let's zoom in onto the clips. Click away to make sure you're not selecting any of the clips. Then open effects window, search for transform, add transform to the first video clip, then search for directional blur, and also add it to the first video clip. Now from the start of the first video clip, move five frames forward, then in effect controls under transform, uncheck use composition shutter angle and set it to 360 to add motion blur. Now create a keyframe for position by clicking on a stopwatch icon and for the blur length. Now move the playhead back to the start of the video clip and decrease the second position value to move the clip up out of the frame and also set blur length to 20. Now that will create the animation. Now back in effect controls, we select both transform and directional blur effects while holding down the control or command keys. Then we press control or command C to copy them. Now we select the rest of the video clips and press control or command V to paste the effects. And lastly, we need to sequence these layers. To do that, we first move the playhead to the start of the first video clip. And from here, we're going to move forward five frames at a time. We can do that while holding down the shift key and pressing the right arrow key. Then we click away to make sure we're not selecting any layers. Then we drag the second video clip to this point, but on the second track. Then we move forward again and drag the third video clip to the third track. And we do that for all of the layers. But if you run out of space and want to make the timeline full screen, you can double click on the sequence name or use the tilde key as the shortcut. And once you're done, your timeline will look something like this. You can see it can get really, really high. So to minimize everything, we can drag and select all of the layers, right click, select nest, click OK, press tilde key again to minimize the window. And now we have one layer that we can work with. 